Alrighty, we are here with the third uh, video in the Structures Data Grid uh, Pair uh, Tutorial. Um, this is all a part of the Pair Tutorial series. Uh, the first 10 videos were the installation of the Pair and WAMP server in PHP. And the last two videos have been dealing with the databases. But this video we're going to deal with... Um, uh, uh, dealing with a project of linked tables uh, the last video we installed the world database as you can see right here I got the world database and here are the here are the tables the city the country and the uh, country language table um, in the first video we dealt with how to connect to the database which is going to be a central function here um, so let's di let's dive into it we're basically going off of the links tables with structures data grid tutorial that is seen right here and the author um, of this uh, of this tutorial uh, provides us with the source code in the CSS style sheet uh, here's the CSS style sheet right here so you can copy that and save that as a CSS style sheet and we have the code for this um, link tables right here. We've already placed it in the grid. I mean in the um, editor So it's already in the editor ready to go and One of the things I'm gonna do with these videos is I'm gonna be try to try to Be as descriptive as possible for each of the elements that composes our code um, But I stress again that there are other tutorials out there that if you want to learn CSS if you want to learn PHP if you want to learn um, HTML uh, that's not going to be the main focus of our series the main focus of our series is going to be how to use um, the uh, various resources that are out there such as the stru structures uh, data grid so let's dive into it uh, some of the requirements that he says that we need is the structures data grid package the structures data grid render HTML table, the structures data grid data source NDB2 driver, the MDD2 uh, package, the MDB2 uh, driver S M uh, MySQL, and a PHP compact. Um, and uh, basically, if we look at the code, um, we go to the editor right here. Um, what is required? Uh, of us uh, what the, what documents are or what links are required and this is the pair PHP which if you can see right here we have it right here uh, the structures data grid we have that right here the HTML table which is right here the MBD2 ph.php which is right here and then this this one right here, the PHP compact function HTT uh, underscore build underscore query dot PHP. Now that comes from if we go to our pair folder, that comes from the PHP uh, package class. And the main, of course, the main uh, package is the compact, but it also has it comes with some functions. And if you can see, you know, in PHP we can build our own custom functions. Well, pair uh, the uh, repository has given us these uh, functions that we can just stick into our code. So the f code, the function that we wanted to require in our code um, is the HTTP uh, underscore. Let's see where are we at. Uh, here we go. HTTP underscore build underscore query so um, that is included in our code and then we have the uh, function uh, functions that uh, for the links for the country link and then we set up a, a connection to the world database uh, and basically it's basically the same way um, and the way we set up the uh, the connection is we don't actually make the connection we just include a DSN that PHP file and that DSN that PHP which you can use for other um, app for other web pages is uh, it has one line of code uh, the MySQL uh, is is what database that uh, 
format that we're going after um, root which is the username we don't have any password so it's at localhost which is the server and a databases world that is the only thing that we're using this DSN which is data source name is uh, that's what the acronym stands for that's the only thing that we're using this for we can instead of writing this out every time all we have to do is just include this one or just include it in any document that we're going to be making a uh, connection to the database with so if we go ahead and rerun this voila here we go and say for instance we go back to the first page and we want to click on United States okay and we're looking at uh, basically what it's giving you is the cities with the with the most populations and of course in the United States New York Los Angeles Houston I mean Chicago Houston Philadelphia Phoenix San Diego Dallas San Antonio Detroit if we refresh this if we refresh this uh, well I guess it's not doing it like that um, what it should do um, is if we run it again let's go ahead and run it again what it will do is it will give us the number one populations from all across the the world uh, as far as uh, the cities across the world so um, you know um, starting with Mumbai or Bombay which is the most populous with over uh, 10 million people all the way down to New York which is number 10 so just you know and uh, just to let you know that uh, the style sheet if we go down to the to the uh, HTML table the style sheet is included in the table and as you can see um, we actually set up an HTML table to render it out if we actually look at the um, source code here the PHP spits out the source code and basically allows us not to have to write all this as you can see that's a lot of source code to write and if you look at the code here in the editor you know it's only uh, 111 lines but if you look at the code in the in the uh, in the uh in the in the in the uh I'm sorry in the Firefox uh source view as you can see that's a lot of code so you know the structures data grid prevents us and allows us not to have to write all this you know and 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 you know and at the same time it allows us to do the pa pagination everything so I just wanted to go over this um the next uh tutorial that we're going to look at is from the Zen developer zone um, so uh, just be ready and uh, we're going to go more deeply into how to create links and how to do certain things with your data grid, how to use Ajax with your data grid. So just get ready and thank you for watching this video. I have a little bit more time on this video and I wanted to just uh, before I ended it uh, just to say that you know please take a look at this tutorial web page uh, which is right here um, and he has some more examples if we go back that we're gonna also look at um, we're gonna look at the uh, a database front end with a pair uh, data grid and data data object but we're not gonna that's not gonna be the next video that's probably gonna be a couple of videos down uh, like I said we're gonna look at this Zen developer zone because this all this will allow me to explain to you um, how to how to do certain things and he, and he 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 goes through a step by step example of how to do things how to insert the CSS and again you know if we if we go back here to the uh, to the source you know it render we actually do have to create an HTML page on the same page as the links table dot PHP so just wanted to follow back up with you guys and again thank you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.